Okay, here goes nothing. Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Build a Baseboard Viewer's Choice Edition, uh, the episode where I actually play the pedal board that you asked me to build. Uh, and oh boy, is this a weird one. Um, so I'm gonna go through the pedal board and, you know, talk you through the pedals and what pedal won and whatnot. Um, I have taken a few liberties with this one and... Uh, uh, one of the liberties is actually in benefit of you guys who wanted to throw me a curveball. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about the pedal board and the signal chain and whatnot. So the pedal board starts off with the Line 6 Relay G70. Um, and that was actually the pedal that won this, uh, you know, the, the, the voting and whatnot. Uh, however, a very close second was the TC electronic flashback delay, the curveball in that, um, you know, episode. So I figured, why not make you guys happy and include the flashback delay anyways at the very start of the signal chain. So yeah, there is a delay at the very beginning of the signal chain. But it starts off with the Line 6 Relay G70, then it goes into the flashback um, delay, from TC Electronic, I have it set for the reverse delay, which I find quite uh, cool. Um... It kind of gives you this airy, beautiful tone feeling vibe thingy. Um, I had it set for the reverse uh, delay when I did this big ambient pedal board, so uh, it was on that setting and I tried it out and I liked it, so I left it there. I could have set it for any other of the cool modes, but I figured why not use the reverse because it's kind of cool and makes this bass pedal board, uh, well, not useless, but uh, weird. And you can't, uh, and if you have all of the pedals engaged like I had in the uh, intro tune, uh, well, then it's uh, quite a useless bass tone because... Uh, <laughs> As you can hear, there is this reverse delay, which is cool, but, you know, eh, you can't really play 
a top 40 song with that. Well, you can, but it's weird. So, anyways, from the flashback uh, delay, we're going into the Dark Glass Hyper Luminal Compressor. Great compressor unit. Uh, I got a set for the bus mode. Um, a bit of clean blend going on there. Uh, nothing too crazy, but you know, nice solid compression going on. I love that compressor. It's really convenient and you know, tiny and nice and really versatile. After the hyperluminal, we're going into the EBS Octabase. <laughs> Which is, you know, a wonderful octaver. Um, got it set to the low mode. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy with that one. I've done some videos on that pedal alone. It's just, you know, whenever I need an octave pedal for some sub uh, mayhem, I always gravitate towards that one. It's just, it's just great. After the octabase, we're going into another EBS pedal, the Valve Drive DI. Now, the EQ might look a bit wonky to you, but that is actually the flat setting. Um, so, mids all the way, treble all the way down, bass all the way down. Uh, so, that's actually the flat setting of this one. Uh, not too much drive going on. I can always, you know, increase the gain. But then you kind of want a cab sim. Uh, so that I don't get, you know, the harshness. So uh, I'm gonna do that later on when we've gone through all of the pedal board. Uh, stay tuned for that. Give me a few seconds just. After the Valve Drive DI, we're going into the Suncoast BC3 XL Stereo Bass Preamp. Love that one. This one also has a wonderful limiter, which, you know, squeezes everything together, uh, which is especially useful when you've got an octave pedal like the EBS Octabase, which can really, you know, create some sonic mayhem to your speakers. So it's really nice to have that limiter there. Uh, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful preamp with a great distortion circuit as well. I, I've got a set for the clean tone now, but I can, of course, engage the distortion for you. So yeah, you've got a lot of gain in that little preamp there. After the BC3XL, we're going into the slur. This wonderful, spacey, crazy reverb pedal. It's really fun to use, actually. And when you pair it with the TC Electronic flashback delay, I mean, come on. I can just sit there and do that all day. Which I did in a previous video. Sorry. Now, if you've uh, woken up properly, you probably noticed that I've got the Dark Glass element here as well. That was not the winner in that particular video. However, it's small and convenient and, you know, it gives me an XLR output to my audio interface, which is always a good thing because I've got some XLR cables hooked up there um, to go so it was really convenient it is bypassed right now <laughs> 
so there's no cab simulation going on, however... It's really easy to, you know, just start it up. And now that we've got some cab simulation going, let's uh, get to the Valve Drive DI and try to, and you know, cook up a nice distorted bass tone with that one. was tasty. I really like this um, preamp. Um, it really gives you some, you know, uh, cranky old man uh, to your tone, if you know what I mean. You know, P bass and some tubes. or valves, as they say. Um, anyways, um, this, turned, and this turned out pretty okay, I must say. Um, you know, there are a few, you know, caveats to this board. Uh, I probably wouldn't have a delay pedal at the very start of the signal chain if I ever were to use this said board live. However, you know, Considering what we got going here, it's a really nice uh, tonal palette that you can really paint some nice uh, musical pictures with. Um, and, you know, it wasn't too bad having the delay at the beginning, uh, especially if you, you know, if you're into ambient stuff. So uh, with all this being said and done, I'm going to play some, some more with, you know, all of the pedals engaged and see if I can actually come up with something. Uh, useful. Uh, I'm gonna keep the element going as well so that we got some, you know, nice cab simulation going. I know it's cheating, but hey, it's my channel. Sorry. <laughs>
So yeah, there you have it. That's the uh, Let's Build a Baseboard Viewer's Choice Edition Pedalboard. The first one I might add. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this, you know, little segment and, uh, you know, concept. Um, please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do this again. I found it pretty, you know, funny. It was fun to do this. It was really challenging um, to, you know... Uh, Especially, you know, pick out the pedals and try to find the the the, the good curveballs and whatnot. Maybe I'll do a you know more a standard video where I won't have any curveballs included and you know um, let you guys choose from those, or just you know present all of the pedals and you can tell me in what order I should place them, and then you can you know uh, vote for each other's comments. I don't know. Let me know here in the comment section. What should we do next? This was fun. Um, so with all this being said and done, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for voting in this uh, crazy series. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed the theme song that I did for you. I did that for you because I love you guys. And it means a lot that you're here and supporting my channel. It really does. I mean, we're way past 6,000 subscribers now. And that's amazing. So let's keep it going to 10k. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Leave a comment. And I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time. Take care. Bye. But hey, I'm in the bed.